Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Big Man World of Destination. We are exploring the New York level, currently dressed up as a fired worker. Um, we already did quite, came quite far with objectives already actually. Uh, but we are certainly not silent assassin anymore, that was also not the aim of the exploration. Exploration is, yeah, getting all the unexplored icons like this one uh, cleared from the map. Ah, I actually overlooked one over there, let's go there. Uh, the ground floor and the subterranean floor all fully uh, explored also already the vault we access the vault we are now um, yeah exploring further and also if I can get some of the regular objectives I will we have to retrieve data sticks yeah we it's optional because we already got the data from the vault but there are two uh, assistants of the, the uh, chairman of the bank or the, the, the CEO however she's called uh, also carrying a, a data stick with the same data but the, the, the uh, it's either in the vault you take it or you take it from the two assistants to the chairman and from the chairman or her, herself or chairwoman um, and so yeah if I see those uh, peoples then I will try and also the overall objective is also to take out the chairwoman um, but yeah, th that will all be just messing about a bit. Um, I am not trying in any capacity to already really make progress and save it, so to say. No, uh, this is just exploring. And then afterwards, once everything is explored, I will really go for a serious silent assessment run. Um, I wonder, I'm like, a fired employee I'm sure they will not accept me in here so probably they will immediately be uh, suspicious but they are all quite busy it seems haven is place on earth but is this garden of Eden Eden full of snake we already read that hey hope the market's treating you well <laughs> uh, hello and welcome. Please have a seat. So, Mr. and Mrs. Price, I believe. I see you want to expand on your loan to buy a house in the Hamptons. Yes, my practice is really starting to take off. Yes, he has a lot of celebrity clients. Very high end. <laughs> well, good for you, Mr. Price. I can see here that you already have three properties here in Manhattan. Wait, what? Three properties? Well, what's the third one? Honey, <laughs> well, you never said we had another apartment here. Oh. oh, you are not seeing that slut Olga again, are you? That must be a mistake. We, we only have two properties. Is it important? No, not really. I just wanted to mention it. You see, I just need to know that if we are going to give you a loan, we just want to make sure that you have the sufficient equity and... Uh, well, Manhattan real estate has a very high value. You are seeing that bitch again. I knew it. So, <laughs> is there a problem? This oh, is no, pretty funny. I just needed your confirmation. I will start the process and email you a basic contract. Simply sign it and send it back. I don't want the house anymore. Honey, there is nothing to worry about. And I haven't seen Olga. Oh, I can see when you're lying. You are just buying this house out of guilt. We'll talk about this later. Thank you for your help. Have a nice day. You too. Oh, and lovely to meet you, Mrs. Price. Olga, I fucking hate her. Not here, honey. We'll talk about this when we get home. <laughs> she started out so happy. Like, hey, mister. Hope the market is treating you well. And now she's in a bit of a different situation. Interview and managers. Ah, there's also, I think, an inter that's probably also a way to get close to them through a job interview. It would be pretty cool. Alright, that lady is for sure suspicious of me. Op 
opportunity, ex prosperity, execution, opportunity, all these fake corporate blah, blah, blah. Hilde H. Soende, former CEO. Bjorn Christensen, former CEO. Terrible suits, by the way. It's almost like a cliche suit. Uh, we already read this. Just curious. Uh, conference. I thought it said confidence, but it's conference. That's logical. Michael Nemkov, former CEO. Right. This is the Hall of Fame's fame of former CEOs. Carl Lewis Saunders. Mathis Whitred. Metze P. Anderson. All right, there are a lot of CEOs, cat it. That's where we already uh, started. So where did we come from? I don't even remember. Ah, we came from here. Here were the two guys. This is where we started. Right, so we can also get higher up to the executive floor. But let's first better check out this floor. That woman is for sure an enforcer. As a bank teller. Managers and employees only. Pretty good chance that somebody will kick me out here. Oh, have we talked to everyone? No, I think I saw him go into the bathroom. Then here, this is what I mean. Somebody is suspicious. Sound promising. Yeah. Uh, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. It's the guy over there. Comes out. Will do. Thanks. All right. Is there anything worthwhile for the rest? I don't. Uh, Mrs. Cutley, thank you for Who is putting me? Yeah, it's that guy. Yes, he is. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear that. Please send him our regards. All right, it does now, make I sense. Now, I have a busy schedule, but I need you to bring these... Ah, there's the other guy. So they're waiting for an interview or something. I have no idea. But for the rest... There doesn't seem to be that much here. Who is now spotting me? Ah, that guy. I'll be sure to accept the document personally. It's the guy that is going to uh, Hello, Mr. to retire, I think. He wants to become a full-time comedian. And I think I also overheard someone saying that he won the lottery. Garcia, I presume. Please. ILM confirmed. Well, I'm glad you had time to drop by. Now, we've looked through all your paperwork, and I'm pleased to say that we here at Milton Fitzpatrick very much like to extend your credit. I think you were coming on a little too strong, but mister. I have one question, if you don't mind. No, no, not at all. What is the secret behind your favorite puppy dog? He and the family just can't get enough of it. Put it on everything. If I tell you, I don't have to kill you. <laughs> oh, uh, just kidding. Uh, that, my friend, I, I cannot disclose with a great pride in keeping all recipes a secret. But I'm glad you like it. Well, it's scrum dilly -umptious. But hey, you can't fault me for trying. All right, I'll have the final paper sent over to your office tomorrow for you to sign. I hope that works for you. Works fine with me. And thank you. I, I'll make sure you get some freebie vouchers for you and your family. <laughs> that would mean so much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. I'll sign the papers tomorrow. Have a good day. Well, you too, Mr. Garcia. You too. Man, right. I just love that hot sauce. That was Mr. Garcia. Let's listen to some of the others. Super funny. We'll 
they also have a dialogue. Do all of them have? I have no clue. I don't think so. Would have been funny. Right, that was basically it. Um, so that's this room checked. Teamwork, there to soar. Ah, now he was not suspicious anymore, probably because... Yo, Wall Street wannabe! Wall Street wannabe? Fuck Whoa. you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Right, this is another God, way. Yeah, I love that song. Ah, there she is. Ah, and that's one of the um, targets. to hear that it wouldn't matter anyways you are a tiger i can see that you can do astronomy if so forget about it the only person who can make a change is yourself and i can see that with you you can't i i don't see see there you go I'm making excuses i'll tell you what i'll give you my card and i'll drop this interview then you can call me when you get it and we'll celebrate but don't you need a job i have plenty of job opportunities good luck i hope you call holy shit i wish this i could be a great day i wish i had something like that a woman dropping her job interview for you to call her later to have some fun man Anywho, how are we going to get that guy's disguise? I don't really see a lot of ways to hide bodies. Yeah, maybe over here. Ah, we can also just climb up. Through the pool. Alright, let's uh, lure him up here. Do me a favor and go check that out, okay? Yep. Okay. Ah, fuck. Why is he coming? That's not what we wanted. But you know what? Let's just... Um, I have no idea what that was. Oh. Take her as well. What was that? Quickly close these doors. Right. Get her out of the way. And get to the job interview. Wait, is it that person? No. Just too much to do. Yeah. I bet that's it. No need to get him Of an emergency, okay? Oh, 
Oh shit. That guy's got juicy written all over him in black. They spotted me anyways. I didn't see him properly. Paul! Come on, do you read? Just saw this guy attempting to dispose of a body. He's trying to blend in. He's in disguise. I should probably have um Lured her up one stairs more. All clear. Sorry, it's a bit of a slow episode. So we have a situation here, folks. Just let the pros do their jobs, okay? Okay, okay. Also a little bit annoying waiting around for these alert faces to die down. It takes quite a long time. We have a security breach. Go somewhere safe now. Okay, I think I've got you. Come on, dudes. Ah, by the way, I could have hidden her in this box. I didn't even need to go through that door to the other uh, crates. How could I have overlooked this one? That's just stupid. All right, now I have to wait for that guy to return to his post, which is also qu always quite annoying because it can take quite a long time. And I'm not sure whether he went out through this door, but whether he also returns to this door, maybe he takes another staircase or something down. So then I'm waiting for nothing. But I know from experience, it Sometimes space off to wait a little bit longer. Uh, I do hear somebody walking, some footsteps. Because otherwise you think you're in the clear alert phase over and then you bump into guys who are um, yeah, in a random spot returning to their original uh, location and then the alert phase triggers again. Like for example now, I have no idea, it could very well be, alright, my impatience is getting the best of me. It wouldn't surprise me if he took some other way down. I don't really see another way down. Only the staircase all at the other sides, but yeah, maybe he took that one. Um, Alright, this is also some kind of a special stock market area. Alright, anywho, we are going to Fortech. They will probably see me. Should not do this. I cannot help myself. Uh, in mountain high enough. Ain't no mountain high enough. Forte. All right, so that's probably that CEO lady on the cover. I think we already sold that magazine. Anyways, now let's see if we can get that guy up here. Who is spotting me? I don't get it. Is he still there? Yes. Somebody is spotting me. Who is that? I think it's that lady over there. No, there's even now somebody is spotting me. 
Bit security guard over there. No. Ah, maybe that was the guy who saw me take her out. No, and I took her out all the way over here. I'm still a bit baffled who spotted me. Anywho, I will just lure this guy up a little bit further. Huh? Huh? What was that sound? What was that? Wow. What was that? Oh, no. This guy's a troublemaker. Stay away from him. All right, I need another disguise. Hey, you need to do something. There's a bad situation. Some serious shit is going down. Are you going to do something about it? You was dressed like one of those investment banks. Excuse me. Excuse me. My job. My all right, I'm just going to get the hell out of here. Try in the meantime to get another disguise because my disguise is totally tainted. I would say. Oh Christ! Bad things going on. Ah shit! That's that same lady. Okay. Damn it! Right where? What the hell? What are you talking about? Whoa! What? What's happening? Ah, they are now also in an alert phase over here. God damn it! All right, annoying. It's almost. Better to just start over, I would say. Alright, they seem to be chilling out again. Wow. Hey, oh this guy's up to no good. Can someone please help me? Oh, oh. you gotta do something. It's just it's too gruesome to get my head around. No. Too gruesome? What the hell are you talking about, man? Oh shit. I'm stuck in this. Alright, screw it. I'm starting over. Sorry, this is a really bad episode. Hardly making much progress. Uh, anyways, the idea is to see what happens when you go as a... Welcome For that job interview. So, let's first hide our weapon. I don't think so, but let me see. Maybe no, it's sir. not it's even not needed. Ah, okay. uh, you know what? I'm just doing my standard start no, 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 no. manner, which really is quite uh, handy because it also gives a janitor key. Let's just take them out over here. Okay. And probably I will also be taking that? out the man. Camera. I just heard a weird noise. I'm moving in to investigate. Downstairs. It's quite easy. <laughs> ah, come on! Well, it's not like I haven't been here before. Nice detail, you see the cleaning supplies down uh, below the sink. Right over there in the corner. Nice little detail. Anywho, will I be taking out cameras? Yes, let's do that. Where were the cameras? Yes, it was downstairs. Alright, I got almost spotted. No idea by who. Probably another security guard. 
Oh. I'm really sorry, but we've had this section off this area for now. The head of security suspects there may have been This is the vault, 47. The data core should be behind that large steel door. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Yes, he needs. Hmm. The vault looks even more fortified than we feared. If I'm not mistaken, only high-tier security is allowed in here. Access seems to be restricted to the use of a key card of some sort. Right, Hang on. There's a similar security hub on the second floor. You might be able to acquire what you need there. Ah, uh, let's just do it over here. Um, there we go. It's a little bit of preparation, but it makes it much easier, everything. Because security hub on the second floor, yeah, it could also be uh, easy, I don't know. But, yeah, and then you do have to get to the second floor first, without troubles. This is a pretty foolproof way of doing it. Two guys. disguises once I really go for the uh, silent assassin run. We can disable the Wi-Fi connection of the chairwoman and then she really wants IT support up there ASAP. And that's where Agent 47 will come in. That is this little piece of intel but we already uh, checked that out earlier. Anywho, um, by the way, nice, these carton boxes, the symbols on them, they're all really pretty lifelike, it all feels really believable. Um, so now we are here, and now we can, I wonder, is there also a way around? No, I don't think so. The IP is to. Oh, it's just stupid hot down here today. Do not turn on the AC. It might be a little warm in here, but those exhaust fumes are just horrible. I know, I know. Who the hell decided to put an AC in the basement garage? Ah, that's it. They see me on the camera. Because I do think that now. Yeah, at least one guy Down. gets suspicious. Except, ah, all of them actually. Annoying. Clear. Command! Anybody there? Come in! Command, we got someone trespassing south by southwest. All right, I really have to remember to do this better. Take out the cameras before moving around the corner here. Take out the, in the individual cameras before trying to uh, take out the camera controller because you will lose your silent session rating otherwise. And this is also quite annoying because this takes a while before also these guys get back to their default routine. Super annoying. You know what? I'm not even gonna wait for it. Sure, whether they spotted me. All right, but we, uh, yeah, well, we succeeded in time. what we Wait. wanted to do. Remember that? Oh, the six thousand semi incinerated files. Being to disable the camera, screw those guys. 
And now I have to be about who we're looking for. Stay. careful because there is somehow, uh, it's probably this guy. This is one of the targets actually. What? I don't like your face. Alright, screw it. I was not expecting him to see me now. Alright. I should probably just disregard this whole episode because it's terrible. At least let's try and disable the camera down below uh, in a way. That I will not be spotted as a practice. God damn it. We might have a possible Such disturbance. Huh? Excuse me. I think you forgot something. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Try to pick up the coin and I picked up that sign over there. Why does this always happen? Why does this always What happened to you? Finding a free coin? Take it easy, my man. So annoying these contextual buttons. I try to drag the body, press B, but B is also take cover. Just annoying. Alright, so there's a little bit of preparation involved. Taking out these two and also taking out the two down below. The IT guys and watching here for potential enforcers it could mess up your party. Hello. This is the vault. I'm really Wait sorry, but we've had the, the data core here. should be behind that large steel door. what it is at least it's a good practice to taking out the camera on scene the camera recorder Stand this. Sorry, I'm starting over. Accidentally had the lethal weapon in my uh, in my hand. That screwdriver. It's so annoying. I don't want to kill innocents. I only want to focus on the actual targets. We are a professional, after all, and also we have some form of empathy. We're not psychotic mass serial killers. But god damn it, this is annoying. Command. I just heard something. I don't know. I'm gonna go check it out. All right. So this is basically a whole episode. Oh, yeah, that's just typical. Without any progress, so to say. We did learn about the uh, job interview, and we found some. Funny conversations like that woman applying for a loan with her husband, finding out that they actually have a secret 
lovers, condo, what, where she, that her husband has one of those that she wasn't aware of. So it's not a totally lost episode, but yeah, damn it, there's also a lot of failing going on. Jesus. All right, here we go. No more kidding around. It really is not that hard. Here? Apparently someone broke into the bank last night. Mateo Perez interviewed me about it for a full hour. Told me not to tell anyone. Did they steal anything? I don't think so. They're trying to find out. That's why Fabian's got his SWAT Wait, team of financial investigators who locked in the conference room. Wow, the director must be fuming. She's definitely firing wow. people today. All right, so they do speak of some kind of a break-in. And there are indeed, the, but I'm not sure whether that's the same as a I bank robbery. What talking about. My name's Tina. Um, there are bank robbers in the toilet hiding right. where we just were. This is the vault. I'm really sorry, but we've had this The data core here. should be behind that large steel door. I'm not door. sure what the side story with those is, but I tried to get in as a security guard to those bank robbers, but yeah, then really nothing happened. They only said like, yeah, can you please get out of here? All right, now let's holster the screwdriver. So we can get back here quite quickly. It's not like you have to replay 10 or 15 minutes. I think it's five in total, maybe. I'm still not quite sure how to take out the guy, how to get the guy that has a job interview. How to go about that. No. But now to take out the security recorder. Yeah, I, yeah. These other guys really it's stupid hot down here today. Do not turn on the AC. It might be a little right, warm in here. A door Those here exhaust fumes well. are just horrible. If I, I know, shoot, I will they hear me? Who the hell decides to put an AC unit in a basement garage? Someone who doesn't work here anymore, I hope. By the way, that camera is not a problem, by the way. I don't My dad came by the bank last week. Lives out of town, but drove in to see where I work. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. The problem the is the camera the over there. Afterward, we went to his little diner over on 5th, and he told me this strange thing. So he's a Freemason, and a member of a local lodge for some of the little kids. And he told me... Milton Fitzpatrick was a more Masonic member than any other bank in the U.S. Alright, let's get the hell out of here because I do think that the guy may come investigate. Maybe not, but it wouldn't surprise me. These guys are super twitchy. Not. Anyways, I'm pretty sure we are now still 
silent system rating and we got the cameras disabled yes we are if you look into the bottom left corner of the screen the icon was still green all right so now the IP is to first learn There's also a key card reader needed here, by the way. I wanted to say to learn the, um, the way down there. But you do need a key card reader, even here. So probably the way I do it, it's not the worst, I guess. Um, yeah, now let's just find a way to get that guy's disguise over there. The guy looks like suspiciously much like Adam Pierce. Maybe that's just the cap. And let's also quickly check it out over here. All right, so just the toilet with people in it probably. Who is this? Ah, this is also a job applicant. <laughs> that's so funny. The guy is puking probably because... Ah, that's so sad. He was... That's such a nice little side story I found, or he was nervous and puking from it. Uh, but this really uh, solves that whole problem. We can immediately... What does this do? A uh, lead pipe. Um, yeah, we can just get into the in interview. Here we go. Um, so at least we still have some anything here let's also explore this area fountain view original refreshing energy drink and i really like this game so much all the detail cherry original blueberry and bubblegum and also we can see outside also nice detail, parking garage and even some billboards on other buildings. Even that little cup is quite detailed with the little ribbons for additional grip. Alright, slowly but surely I'm getting the hang of this level. I really like it. Also the fact it's not even that small. But it's at least not so super intimidating uh, huge. Oh, All right, here we, we talk go. to everyone? No, I think I saw him go into the bathrooms. He's been there for ages. Okay, doesn't sound promising. Ah, yeah, I, we'll I, I heard that dialogue out. earlier. Let me know when he comes out. Will do. Thanks. Oh, I, there you are. Feeling better, I hope. I heard that Should I let HR know you're ready for the final interview? I feel like a new man. I'm ready. Wonderful. Follow me, please. It's right down here. I heard that dialogue earlier, like somebody's on the bathroom, but I had no idea what she was talking about, but now I understand. Nervous. What's the joke Don't worry. Because? You'll do fine. There's one thing you can be sure of. All we need is his signature. I'll make sure you sign this. Right, this is also such a fun Mr. setup. Thomas, have a seat, please. Was uh, not expecting Mr. Thomas, good to meet you. To be I'm in Kevin, the game. And this is Melissa. We're both with HR, and we will be guiding you through this last test. It's important to stress that there's no pass or fail here. It's merely a standard personality test meant to gauge how you'll fit into our corporate culture. All right. If you're ready, let's kick this off, okay? Was not expecting okay, to do so a job a very test, simple test in the game. 
All you do is pick a card and tell us what you see there. Now, it's important to point out that there are no right or wrong answers here. It's just to give us a better impression of who you are on a psychological level. Does that make sense? Yes, I'm I'm ready. Ready. All right, Mr. Bullcrap. Thomas, uh, let's proceed then. If you will, Bullcrap. please pick the card that most conjures up the word opportunity. This one. All right. Now look at it closely. Take a few moments. Then tell me, do you see an animal or an object? Animal. I see. What kind of animal? A bird. An eagle, perhaps. An eagle. Very interesting. A forceful animal. Anything else? It's feeding on something. Feeding? On what? A carcass. The scene is reflected in a pool of blood flowing from the body. It's a vulture feeding on someone else's kill. That's very graphic, Mr. Thomas. Yes, brutal even. Right. Mm, very interesting observation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, not what we expected, but, but that's perfectly fine. Let's take the next one, shall we? Pick any of the remaining cards that make you think of execution, please. I'll pick this one. Good choice. Tell me, what is the first thing you see here? Just the very first thing that comes to mind. I see a figure in a large coat. Perspective skewed, as if I'm looking at him from the ground. He's got something in his hands. I... uh... go on. He's armed. Dual firearms. Large caliber pistols. I see. What else do you see? He's just finished a job. Perfectly executed. And who is this man? It's me. Very, very interesting, Mr. Thomas. Well, that's a very creative interpretation, I Mr. Thomas. The, uh, uh, I think we've just got time for the last card. Please proceed. Uh, this last card should hopefully make you think of prosperity. Yeah, so I totally screwed it up. The paintings at the back actually are the same as the pictures. I, uh, so I'm won't be hired, I'm afraid. Okay. Oh, very good. This is an interesting one. What do you see here? Take in the whole image, please, and in as much detail as possible, tell me what this reminds you of. Wealth. Hmm. Can you elaborate on that? I see a big pile of money earned performing questionable actions. And how do you feel about that? Bending the rules of the game? It's what I do. Very good, Mr. Thomas. Well, I have to say, that was very impressive, Mr. Thomas. With your cutthroat approach and killer instinct, I think you'll fit right in with Milton Fitzpatrick. Wouldn't you say so, Melissa? I couldn't agree more, Kevin. Mr. Thomas, allow me to congratulate you on your new position as an investment banker here at Milton Fitzpatrick. Thank you. When do I start? <laughs> well, aren't you an eager beaver? Well, we expect you to come in tomorrow at 8. Welcome on board, Mr. Thomas. You know what? If you want, feel free to have a look around the bank. You've got clearance all the way to the top. Get to know the place. Just don't go into the CEO's office. We don't want to lose you on your first day. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure you can see yourself out, Mr. Thomas. Have a night. All right. Hired investment banker passing the personality test with flying colors. 47 has been employed as an investment banker in the New York branch of Milton Fitzpatrick. Congratulations, your willingness to bend the rules and kill our instinct is just what the bank needs. Stay. All right, so we can now walk around everywhere. That's pretty nice. Lady of the hour. What does the bank of tomorrow look like? Ain't no mountain high enough. Tina Savalas. Right, for the rest not much here, but I should have seen that I made that so should have made this association. The right picture there is the left painting on the wall. The middle picture is the right painting, and the left picture is the middle painting. I'm just an idiot. 
Anywho, um, so we have a new job, pretty nice. And we can just walk around like it's nobody's business. Teresa, it's nice. me. Listen, I need your already advice. already checked it out over there. I think I pretty much checked out this whole area. I feel like area. giving that bit woman a piece of my mind. I gave this place everything. This is a this, uh, fired worker, and uh, maybe this is also a cool opportunity. I don't know. But let's see about that in the next episodes. Um, already past the 45 minute marker. We'll continue in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you there. For the meantime, don't forget always to keep on gaming. Later.